Hello everybody. Welcome to another AMOA Family Friday. This is Cindy Blair from the Alexandria Museum of Art and this week I'm so excited because we are going to be talking about one of my favorite illustrators and writers, Mo Willems. Mo Willems is actually featured in the exhibition now at the Alexandria Museum of Art, Childhood Classics. So, I am excited to read this book to you. It's one of my very favorites, and it's called Nuffle Bunny, A Cautionary Tale. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block and through the park past the school and into the laundromat. That's where they're going to do their laundry, I think. Yes. Trixie helped daddy put the laundry into the machine. Oh, she's helping really, really, really good, isn't she? She even got to put the money in the machine. Then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Uh-oh. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clavel. That's right, replied daddy. We're going home. Uh-oh. Daddy doesn't get it, does he? Mm-mm. Aggle, flaggle, clabble, said Trixie again. Blaggle, flabble. Wumbly, flabbly. Smurp. Oh, dear. Oh, now please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. I mean, clearly, right? Trixie bawled. Wow. She went boneless. Oh, you ever did that to mommy and daddy, go boneless? Yeah, we love that. She did everything she could do to show how unhappy she was. By the time we got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Yeah, look at that guy. He's going, what's going on? As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? Uh-oh. Look, Trixie's, Trixie's over it. <laughs> the whole family ran down the block and ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Oh, do you think they're going to find Nuffle Bunny? Hmm, hope so. Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked, but Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Oh dear. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder. Oh, thank goodness, Nuffle Bunny! And those were Trixie's first words. All right. Whew. For a minute there, I didn't know what was gonna happen with Nuffle Bunny. You guys probably knew all along, right? Yeah, y'all are smart like that. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I just had a brilliant idea. I mean, it's pretty good. So they went on a hunt for Nuffle Bunny, right? They went looking for Nuffle Bunny. So I was thinking today that we could learn about the art elements and, hmm, maybe we could go on a hunt for some art elements. What? Oh, what are art elements? Well, I'm gonna tell you all about it and then we're gonna go find some. Art elements are the building blocks artists use to create amazing works of art. The first element is line. Lines can be straight, zigzaggy, wavy, or curly. What kind of lines can you find in this woodcut by Walter Anderson? Do you see curly lines? Crosshatchy lines? 
The lines in this piece by Francis Pave create depth and energy and tension that keeps us interested. Lines can create our next element, shape. Shapes are flat, two-dimensional, having only length and width. When arranged in a picture, they create interesting images, like Dancers by Nicholas Monroe. How many shapes can you find in this picture? A three-dimensional shape is a form. Our next element, form appears to have length, width, and depth. Sculptures like this Dale Chihuly glass piece are forms, but artists can suggest forms in flat 2D pieces like this painting by Amy Guidry. The figure appears to be real. The artist does this partly by using value, our next element. Value is the lights and darks of a color. It can make objects appear to be more realistic but it also influences mood. Notice the value in this photograph by Elmore Morgan Sr. Do the lights and darks in this George Rodriguez painting impact the mood? What words would you use to describe this painting? Our next element, color, can also influence mood. Colors can create interesting patterns and draw our eyes to specific areas of a painting. What colors are your eyes drawn to right away in this Margaret Evangeline painting? Do you notice how the mood of this illustration by David Shannon is impacted by color? What words would you use to describe this picture? Another element artists use is space. Positive space is the space inside of an object. Negative space is the space around the object. Look at how artist Arthur Secunda energizes the negative space in this painting using color. Artist Oscar de Mayo makes his painting feel like a crowded and active party by leaving very little negative space between his dancers. If our bunny friend were to grow a fuzzy fur coat, he would have a cozy crazy texture, which is our next element. Texture is how something feels to the touch. In art, sometimes texture is real, like in this sculpture by Morris Taft Thomas. How would you describe the texture of those feathers? Sometimes texture is suggested using elements like line, which brings us back to this piece by Walter Anderson. How would you describe the texture of those fish scales? Okay, so are you ready to find some art elements? I found some right in my living room. First of all, I didn't have to go very far before I found lines in the wood grain of my floor. Oh, and look, some shapes outside in my plants. These are some of my favorite shapes. I really love those big, big leaves. Look, I found some forms. There's loads of forms in my house. I mean, just about everything has a form. Oh, and look, I found value, some lights and darks and color. I have lots of colorful things in my house. What about you? Do you have colorful things in your house? Oh, and look, some space that's created by these objects together. And here's some texture on these bricks. Oh, and some fuzzy texture on my dog. Were you able to find all the art elements on your hunt? I was able to find them. Some of them were a little tricky. Share your pictures of what you were able to find with us. I really hope you enjoyed today's story and activity. Tune in next week and we'll have more fun for you. All right, see you soon.